The news this week is that the papally appointed apostolic administrator of this archeparchy, a guy by the name of Archbishop Foz, Fozhoff, Fozhoff, has put out a seven-page decree in which he has said that the people who were opposing these liturgical changes, and I am quoting here, are guilty of fostering, what is it, subversion and hatred against ecclesiastical authority. Subversion and hatred, okay? That is strong language, right? He has said that the parish council at this basilica, which has been resisting the changes, is going to be dissolved if it doesn't fall in line. He has said that the vicar of this basilica is going to be fired if he doesn't fall into line, and he has threatened canonical sanctions against anyone else who was standing up against the, the decision by the Synod, the Cyril Malabar Church, to impose this liturgy. How are the people of the Archeparchy responding? Well, this past Sunday, they gathered in front of St. Mary's Cathedral, where they took a copy of Archbishop Fazhoff's decree and burned it publicly. Now, Fazhoff has set a July 2nd deadline for everyone to fall in line. The resistors have announced a massive protest gathering on July 2nd in front of the cathedral in which they intend to defy these edicts and physically, if necessary, prevent this new form of the mass, which they regard as an aberration and a betrayal of their traditions, from being celebrated in what they regard as their cathedral. Now, the Synod is claiming to have the Pope's backing in its efforts to ram through this new approach, but to date, Francis has not yet directly addressed this controversy. It's going to be very interesting to see going forward exactly what, how he's going to handle this, right? Because on the one hand, you know, he extols synodality all the time, and here he has a Synod that has made a decision which people are defying. On the other hand, his version of synodality isn't theirs, right? It's not just the bishops, but it's also, you know, religious, and it's the people of God. It's ordinary lay people. And many of those religious and ordinary lay people, at least in this one jurisdiction, are saying, no way, Jose. So it's going to be really interesting to see if, when, and how Pope Francis decides to weigh into this controversy. In the meantime, folks, this is the closest thing in contemporary Catholic experience, to those moments in the fourth century, in the run-up to the Council of Nicaea, where you actually had riots in the streets over whether Christ was fully God and fully man, as orthodoxy insisted, or whether, as the Arians demanded, he was somehow subordinate to the Father. Back then, these weren't just things that pointy-headed theologians argued over in learned journals. It was the it was the grist of popular life in the streets because people were all in. And if you want a place in the world where you still have that level of passion, however misguided and however unfortunately explosive it may be, if you want to see a place where people are willing to bleed and die for their vision of the liturgy, look no further than India's Cyril Malabar Church. All right, that is our show for this week. 